today we will be talking about work life balance or integration and in this topic we will be discussing about what is work life balance then we will go to the causes and consequences of work life balance then finally we will talk about the work life balance and integration just the opposite of work family conflict is the work life balance work family conflict is a form of inter role conflict in which the pressures from the work and the pressures from the family domains are mutually incompatible in some respect that means the pressure from the family will interfere with work activities and the pressure from the work will influence the family activities traditionally the unpaid family work or family concern was the women's domain and the public sphere paid work is a men's domain and the reverse of this work family conflict is the work family balance or the work life balance work is when you conceive work work is associated with paid employment and when you say work family balance or work life balance life is the activities outside the work it can be the activity in volunteering it can be the activity in uh, families it can be activity with relatives or relations with uh, relatives or the interaction with friends and when you say work life balance though there are many conceptual ambiguities it simply means giving the equal amount of quality time to both work and life or giving the ama- amount of equal amount of quality time to both work and non work activities because work is associated with organization and life is associated with family friends relatives community work and so on and if you do not give the equal amount of quality time to both then there will be deterioration in personal or home life as well as in community life and there are different models that explain the work life balance the segmentation model speaks that work and life are two different domains so therefore one will not interfere with the activities in the other domain and they are separate the spillover model speaks that one can influence the other either in positive or negative ways and the compensation model speaks that the deficiency or the satisfaction in one is associated with the efficiency or dissatisfaction with the others sorry the compensation model speaks that the satisfaction in one domain will compensated by the satisfaction in another domain the instrumental model says that the activity is one sphere facilitates the success in other sphere and the conflict model says that if there is high demands 
from both the spheres work and life, it will lead to work overload and the individual will experience the stress. And beyond these five models that we have discussed, there is another theory called the border theory. That means, people daily cross borders and with the help of the technology. Now, with the help of iPad, laptops, cell phones, these are the instrumental items for the individuals to cross the borders. Say for example, while going to office, the parents can take the children to the school, leave them in the school and then go to the office and during the lunch time, they connect with the family members. The parents can connect with the family members as well with the child and they can have a lunch together and at the time of return, all can come together. So, therefore, when there is a lack of time, you can integrate the different commitments of both and work and family or work and home to, to create a balance. And if you look, having said this, if you look to the why we are thinking of work life balance, why you are talking about? Perhaps there is some imbalance is existing, why it is occurring? Some of the pointers are that we are working longer hours, even if in a 7 days work week, we are working more than 48 hours, 48 hours. This is true globally and excessive work leads to physical and mental health problems and also occasionally causes death. Second is that the more female employees are entering into higher education and subsequently into professional jobs than ever before. And if the family, if the female employees are entering into the jobs, potential jobs and the high profile jobs, then they are left with less time for the non work activities or for the family activities. And in a globalized world, dual career families are in rise. Both husbands and wives are in paid jobs. So, where is the time left for non work activities? And also there, there are single parent families. And the kids, if the single parent families, if the father or the mother is going to the office, who will look after the kids? And also, because of the difference in time zone, evening jobs or late night jobs are growing, because if you compare with Europe and USA with India, when the business is connected in different countries and in order to match the client requirements in foreign countries, we have to adjust in accordance with their time. As a result, as a result of that, night jobs and evening jobs are also increasing. And at the same time, we do not have sufficient local resources and facilities to meet our daily demands. And there is inadequate, there is, there is inad, inadequate service, services and facilities are available, which will not help to adjust with the daily demands of life. And there is also high rate of competitions and in the organizations, everybody has to chase the time and complete the work 
and meet the deadline. And in the top of it, the employees are forced to show the productivity despite of their difficulties. And there is a demand not only for productivity, quality is the demand, not only the quantity, but also quality. And on the top of it, for the sustenance and survival of the organizations, constantly the organization has to innovate and have a human have the human resources which is, which will give the organization a competitive edge because this is the only resource which cannot be immediately copied by another organization and that will give the competitive and having the talents and the quality employees they can give the quality products with the appropriate time deadline and they are also pressurized because time is short work is many so ultimately they are also pressurized and there are when the individual is working in the organization there are career goals he will get the promotion get the pay and the perks and at the same time you will find in the current scenario there are work alcoholics those who give more time to work and people are nowadays more achievement oriented as a result of which more time is spent on work and at the same time there is the world is not only looking for quality but also perfection and when there is a perfection continuously the person has to go on doing the work till it is completely all right on all sides. So, therefore, the individual concern is also driving the individual to put lot of energy on the work and to show his performance in the work and as well as to get the promotions and pay hike for his recognition in the community as well as in the family. So, having said this, these are the reasons why work life balance is becoming a concern for all of us and particularly large larger organizations they are those who are reputed firms they are looking for the employees work life balance otherwise talents will not stay there they will escape similarly when there are more female employees are entering into the job if the organization is predominantly have the female employees then they are also looking for work life balance. And if there is a signal to the organizations that employees are stressed, they are feeling tired. So, in that case they are also looking for work life balance. And when the family issues are salient or prominent to the HR and senior managers, they are looking for work life balance. And accordingly organization has devised many family friendly policies to ensure the work life balance. And this family policies, some of the family policies like flexible working hours such as flexi time and in flexi time there is a core time where the attendance is mandatory and the person has worked within that core time, but beyond the core slot the other time is flexible any time the person can come and work. Similarly, alternate work arrangement is there where a part of the job will be done by one person and other part by the senior people or by the other family members. And organization also have different leave policies even there is policies of aunt leave, casual leave so many leaves are there along with that we have also a paid leave provision with, with going to different places that is called Leave LTC or leave travel concessions. Organizations are also providing child care facilities, recreation facilities, gym facilities and others so that the work life balance can be attained to certain extent. Also in the legal provisions of in the India say for example, in the Factories Act 1948 the individual can work for 48 hours per week and maximum the individual can work 9 hours per day. And also the law is the, the act is such it restrict the woman employees during 
7 pm and 6 pm. They will not work during the slot of 7 pm to 6 am. 6 am that is a wrong, it is a it is 7 pm to 6 am and there are weekly holidays. Crutches are prescribed for the prescribed for the, the company goes for crutches if there are more than 30 women employees and different leaves are also prescribed like aunt leave, casual leave, sick leave, compensatory leave, medical leave, maternity leave, maternity leave and benefits, paternity leave etcetera. So, all these things are given to the employees, so that the work and non-work activities or work and life activities will be balanced. In IT and IT enabled industries, you will be finding like IBM, Tata Consultancy, Accenture, they have flexible working policies to attract and retain the talents and it is also spelled out in employer branding. And if the organization has to get the potential, the organization will organization will send a message to the potential and actual employees that this is a good place to work with the organization. And therefore, different facilities, different parks, different leave facilities and the acts are also enacted in India, so that the work life balance can be achieved. And these are some of the nature of balance. Say, if the if I want to have the balance between work and family, the outcome is that if you equally emphasize on home and work or the life and the work, then in that case it will lead to job and work satisfaction. And if you look into balance and also life satisfaction, that is a subjective feeling they have achieved the things that I what I want in my life and my conditions are excellent. And similarly, job satisfaction speaks about the things that to what extent the needs of the job related needs of the individuals are met. And if the person emphasizes equally on home and work, then it will lead to job satisfaction, work satisfaction and organizational commitment. That is the tendency on the part of the individual to stay in the organization, glorify the organization in front of others and adhere to the norms and values of the organizations, that is what organizational commitment is. And if the home is central in the balance, if home is central to the persons, then automatically it will lead to mental health and well being, because the person is spending more time with the kids as well as with the spouse and with the community members and doing many of the things what he internally wants to do. If work is central to the individuals, then personally he will suffer from stress and illness. Similarly, the work we do and if there is a spillover, that means the family responsibilities are interfering with the organizational activities or the work or if the organizational activities or the work activities are interfering with the life affairs, then it will directly influence the performance of the individual at home as well as at work. And this is not only that, if we do our free time work, manage the family roles, voluntarily do the work for the community, then it will have an impact on others and within us we will also experience the inner joy by providing the service to others. And as a concept, the new families are emerging. It is a global scenario. There is egalitarian norms 
of family relationship, everybody is equal. And for the domestic labor, it is equally distributed among the members of the family and there is shared decision making and gender free perceptions. And in such a family environment, the roles of the, if you look into India, the roles are also changing. Males are doing the job of females, females are also doing the job of males. Meaning is that, say nailing on the wall. Traditionally, it is the job associated with a male member. Now, it is also done by the females. Child care is done by the females. It is also done by the male members. So, therefore, the traditional roles are changing in the society and there is a gender free perceptions. And also beyond the work and the family, we have we all have our spiritual needs, physical maintenance of the body, we have want mental peace, you want leisure and you want to interact with others. And when you interact, we listen deeply, collaborate openly and respect unfailingly. And and also, we have to reach out the community for voluntary service and experience the inner joy. So, all these when we say, these are beyond the domain of the work in the organizations. So, in that means the individual can, can it be possible that the individual will be able to give equal time, quality time for satisfaction and good functioning at home and work? Perhaps the answer is not no, perhaps the answer is no. So, therefore, work and life is one make, they cannot be separated, they can be integrated. As I told in the earlier example, I can spend quality time while busy with work, with study, with friends and etcetera. So, therefore, one has to know the trick, how to integrate the life and the work together. Staying in the job, you can do in the work in the organizations, find time for the family, do the volunteering job, do the volunteer jobs for the community and also have a leisure and your personal life and you also want your spiritual fulfillment, which is a highest need of the individual. So, therefore, in such a situations, can there be a balance? Perhaps the balance will not be there, but what we are pleading for, there can be integration of the life roles and the work roles. And therefore, you prioritize regularly your roles and also you prioritize the time you will give for different activities and organize yourself accordingly and do not get overload because doing too much of work also leads to death. In Japan, it is a common saying that if you do too much of work, you will die. So, therefore, you have to draw that fine line to what extent I can work and what extent I can involve in not non work activities or non job activities. And therefore, do not get overload and if you are not able to do, you must learn how to say no. So, therefore, the in order to allocate the resources you have a choice of allocation of your time, effort and energy to work and choice of allocation of resources to choice of allocation of time, effort and energy to work and choice of allocation of energy, 
effort to non work and this demands on our resources that means we have some work demands as well as non work demands so therefore in order to we have to do the resource supply by providing our time energy and money for each of these for work demands as well as non work demands and that is the intervention point which will make you happy and i will pass you on some materials to go through this and thank you